We are pleased to welcome you back to The Open Question, a place where we investigate the complexities of life's mysteries. Today, we will discuss personal finance, a subject that is relevant to each and every one of us. Nevertheless, hold on, we are not going to talk about budgets, investments, or savings accounts at this time. The interesting relationship that exists between personal finance and human behavior is going to be the focus of our attention instead. I, the psychology of personal finance. A fundamental truth needs to be acknowledged first. Personal finance is not only about numbers. It is intricately interwoven with our behavior. Let's begin by accepting this fundamental truth. We frequently make judgments regarding our finances based on our feelings, routines, and cognitive biases, all of which contribute to the way in which we navigate the economic landscape. A. The influence of emotions. Emotions are a significant factor in the decision-making process regarding finances. It is possible for our emotional responses to cause us to make rash decisions that have an effect on our financial well-being. This is true whether we are experiencing the excitement of a successful investment or the dread of a bad financial loss. B. The power of habits. Our day-to-day -day routines are the foundation upon which our financial lives are built. The course of our financial journey is shaped by our habits, which range from the purchase of our morning coffee as a routine to the evaluation of our budget on a monthly basis. Gaining an understanding of these patterns and making changes to them can have a big impact on our financial success. I. The Behavioral Economics Perspective Enter behavioral economics, a field that combines the findings of economics and psychology in order to gain an understanding of the decision-making process utilized by humans. It has been demonstrated by behavioral economics that our decisions regarding our finances frequently depart from rationality, as they are influenced by cognitive biases and heuristics. A loss aversion. A common cognitive bias is the aversion to experiencing loss. According to a number of studies, people have a tendency to experience the pleasure of gains that are similar to losses with a greater degree of intensity. This aversion to loss can lead to underoptimal actions regarding one's finances, such as keeping investments that are losing money for an excessive amount of time. Be present bias. An additional behavioral obstacle that we must overcome is present bias. It refers to the inclination that we have to place a higher value on short-term benefits than on long-term benefits. The manifestation of this bias can be seen in excessive spending, the disregard of savings, and the avoidance of investments that have delayed returns. I, I, I. Breaking down financial behavior. Now that we have investigated the psychological foundations, let's have a look at some prevalent behavioral patterns that have a substantial impact on personal money. A. Impulse Spending Spending on impulse is a typical tendency that might have a negative impact on one's financial intentions. There are a number of variables that might cause impulsive purchases, which frequently result in financial regret. These elements include dazzling ads and peer pressure. B. Procrastination When it comes to financial planning, procrastination is the worst enemy there is. Both the accumulation of wealth and the maintenance of financial security can be hampered by procrastination, which might take the form of delaying choices about investments or delaying assessments of budgets. C. Social influences. Because we are social animals, the monetary decisions we make are frequently influenced by the people in our immediate environment. Social pressures can have an effect on our financial decisions, whether it is the pressure to conform to the standards of society or the desire to model our behavior after that of our peers who have achieved success. IV. Empowering change. The first step toward achieving financial independence is to get an understanding of the behavioral aspects that influence personal finances. Let's investigate the ways in which we might make use of this information to develop more responsible financial practices. A. Self-awareness. Making progress in one's self-awareness is essential. The path to positive change can be paved by recognizing emotional triggers, gaining a knowledge of personal biases, and admitting patterns that are damaging to one's well-being. Be goal-setting. 
The process of changing one's behavior can be facilitated by establishing distinct financial goals. Whether it's putting money aside for an unexpected need, paying off debt, or saving for a particular milestone, setting objectives serves to instill a sense of purpose and direction in one's life. C. Financial Education When it comes to modifying people's financial behaviors, education is a strong instrument. When we have a deeper understanding of the fundamentals of personal finance, we are better able to navigate the intricacies of the financial world and make decisions that are based on accurate information. V. The Call to Action I would want to encourage you to take some time to reflect on your own personal financial path as we come to the end of our investigation into the complex relationship that exists between personal economics and conduct. Your financial decisions are being driven by certain tendencies. What are those behaviors, and how can you guide them toward prosperity? Please be sure to click the subscription button down below before we part ways from each other. When you sign up for a subscription to The Open Question, you are not only becoming a member of a community, but you are also taking an active step toward gaining an awareness of the open questions that exist in the world, particularly those that pertain to personal finance. Let's go on this trip together, and together we will solve the mysteries of life, one question at a time. Your participation in the open question is greatly appreciated. Until we meet again, never stop asking questions, never stop learning, and never stop developing.